What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp Essentials tutorial for you. So uh, we talked in the past about importing Google Maps into your model to geolocate it. Today we're going to talk about taking your model and exporting it to Google Earth. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. One of the cool things about SketchUp is its integration with uh, Google's location services. And this is kind of left over from back when uh, Google own SketchUp and they were using it to kind of populate Google Earth with 3D models uh, and they've since switched over to more of like a satellite mapping type uh, type option so they're not really using this anymore but you can still export your model into Google Earth to get things like geographical context and everything else so uh, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna turn on your location toolbar so if you right click on here it'll be the toolbar that says location um, you can also go up to file geolocation add location and what that's going to do is that's going to pop up a map um, a google map and uh, what you're going to do is you're going to find a location that you want to import so like for example this is downtown denver uh, coors field is right over here and uh, what i'm going to pull in is i'm going to pull in um, this uh, space right here that's got kind of this green space in here and uh, basically what we're gonna do is we're going to model something on top of that as if we were gonna put a high-rise in that location so go ahead and just kind of center this on the location you want and then click on this button that says select region and you can drag these you can drag these corners just like this to pick how much you're gonna bring in but um, just kind of draw a box around the area that you want to bring in and then just click this grab button so what that's going to do is that's going to bring this into your into your model just like this. And so what that's going to do is now your model is geolocated, meaning it actually has a location in like the physical world. And the way you can check this is if you go down on this corner and you put your mouse over this little red red point, um, it's going to say this model is accurately geolocated and it'll give you a latitude and a longitude. That's going to be very helpful when we go ahead and put this into Google Earth. So what we're, we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to model a real quick high rise building on top of this. So first thing we're going to do, and this is not essential, but it's something I like to do is I'm going to go ahead and adjust the axes on here. So you can see how my space kind of runs this way, but my axes just kind of run, you know, however across this site. Well, what you can do is you can go up here to tools, axes. So what you can do is you can line your axis up along these lines just like this. And so now it kind of runs along this corner here. And what that means is now you can use tools like the rectangle tool. And they're kind of, they're already, your axes already run along the site. So it makes everything easier to inference and everything else. So customizing your axis in here is going to make your life a lot easier, especially when you first start drawing this model. But we're just going to go ahead and draw kind of a general, like, skyscraper type or high rise type shape. So I'm going to just going to draw a box. I'm going to make that 40 feet high. I'm going to split that box again. I'm going to bring it up another 100 feet. And then I'll split this box and bring it up another, we'll say, 40 feet. So just kind of a general high rise shape. Um, so, and actually, I'm going to go ahead and flip this on site using the scale tool. So just like that, I'm probably gonna flip it this other way as well. So I'm just kind of adjusting the way this sits on the site and I'm just thinking about how it's gonna, how it's gonna interact with the buildings out here. Um, so, and then you can come in and color this if you want to. Like I'll come in here and color one side just to give you kind of an idea. So if I was to come in here and make this backside like a glass, like that, so that's just to give you kind of an idea what that'll look like when you bring it into Google Earth. But once you've kind of come in here and you've created your model, what you're going to do is you're going to export this file to a KMZ file. And what a KMZ file is, is a KMZ file is kind of a 3D file that's geolocated. And it's something that Google Earth can read. So come in here, draw your shape, and I'm going to adjust this just a little bit more, just like this. So I adjusted my shape a little bit. And then what you can do is you can come up to File, Export, and select 3D Model. And then all you need to do is you need to click this little drop down down here. And you need to select Google Earth File. So it's going to be the one that says .kmz. So select Google Earth File and then name this whatever. You can call this High Rise. 
if you want to and just click this export button and so once you click this export button it's going to export your file so that's going to take just a second so what you can do is you can open up Google Earth just like this. Remember Google Earth is that free program from Google that's got all this different uh, 3D stuff in it. And all of this stuff that's in here now is kind of brought in with satellite mapping. So it looks really smooth when you're way outside here, but when you kind of zoom in, you can see that it's a little, it's a little lumpy. And so basically they've just kind of created all this using, I think it's satellite mapping. I don't think it's mapping from planes, but I'm not 100% sure. But Anyway, what you can do is you can come in here and you can find your site. So remember, this is the area where uh, where my building was. You kind of remember the uh, walkways down here. Well, all you do is you go to File, Open, and you go find your file. So in this case, mine was High Rise, and then you double click on it. And what that's going to do is that's going to bring your model into Google Earth just like this. So, and you can see over here in your places section, now what it's got is it's got this temporary places thing in here with kind of a checkbox. Well, if you check the box like this, you can turn your model on and off. And if you look on the back side here, you can see that it brought in the texture. So if you were to come in and texture this building in Google Earth, it would bring your textures in. Um, so that's definitely an option as well. But if for whatever reason, when you bring this in, you're way zoomed out or anything like that, all you need to do is double click on your model just like this. And what uh, Google Earth will do is it'll kind of fly you down to a view where you can see that model. Or close to it anyway. There it is. So, and the nice thing about this is what this does is it lets you navigate around and get kind of a geographic context of your building. So like, for example, I can see, you know, exactly how tall this building is. So I can see how it kind of relates to the other buildings around it. So it gives you a really good idea of scale and it's really easy to do. Um, so it's really cool to be able to drop something in here and just uh, just see how it would actually look in that physical location. And the other thing you can do, which is really cool, is you can kind of fly into this street like this. So just kind of roll your mouse button forward. And eventually when you get really close, what it's going to do is it should lock you into... There you go. It'll lock you into street level view or ground level view. And so basically what that does is that allows you to look up at your building and kind of see what it would look like if you were walking on the street. So if I go a little ways along this road right here, and then I drag this and I look up at my building, you can see that I can see exactly how this is going to fit on site, you know, how, how these uh, sidewalks are going to look and everything else. And you can get really in depth with this. You can export like a complete site and everything else if you really wanted to but um, it's just something that kind of allows you to get that context and um, usually this data is really up to date as well so it really lets you get an idea of how everything's gonna look on your site so anyway there's a few other things you can do in here you can adjust the elevation if for whatever reason this isn't working properly you can select clamp to ground in order to uh, make sure that this is this is actually like right on the ground in here. So there's a few other things you can do to uh, adjust this as well. So anyway, this just gives you a really good context and you can use the arrow keys to move around as well. So you can kind of run down this road and everything else. You can also export an image from this. So if you want to save an image of your current view, you can just go up to file, save image and just save that as a JPEG. So it definitely allows you a whole bunch of different options in here. If you need to get out of ground level view, you can just click exit ground level view. And uh, you can use Google Earth's kind of navigation options to get this from a whole bunch of different angles. Anyway, that's where I'm going to wrap up this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Did you like this? Was it helpful to you? Um, do you have any ideas for what this could be used for? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. So uh, make sure you leave that comment below. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. Uh, if you really like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Um, every little bit helps, uh, even if it's only a dollar a month, just to uh, help me keep bringing great SketchUp content. In any case, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.